Hi, my name is Matt Jordan. I'm a tattoo artist from Aotearoa, New Zealand, and I specialise in black and grey. I've been in tattooing a long time now, and I've seen a lot of stuff come and go. Um, I've seen a lot of people try to bring new products in that we didn't need. Uh, I've seen some great advancements as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very guilty of being dismissive of, of new products, new equipment um, in tattooing because I've seen so much stuff come and go. I've seen so many people trying to bring new fangled things that we just don't need to do our job. Yeah, so I am guilty of, of kind of just flagging stuff and not even trying it. A great example is like I, I only picked up a rotary machine for the first time a few years ago. Um, I've just always been kind of old school with things. And uh, yeah, and I've seen, I seen a couple of friends using Ghostline and I was just like, oh, I, don't, I don't need that. As, as it went along, I've seen friends using it for certain things, like for printing out a, a repetitive texture or something with lots of um, parallel lines. And I was like, oh, that does look very handy. <laughs> I wish I wasn't hand stenciling that. Um, so that was a, I guess that sort of turning point for me where I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll give it a go. My friend showed me how to use the app. I figured it out very quickly. Uh, and then basically printed out the stencil, stuck it on, I got it on the first try and it was just like a kind of instant like, oh yeah, this is this is great. Um, this is this is saving me a ton of time. For that channel in particular, there was a lot of textural changes which I would have to painstakingly stencil everyone very well to be able to get a sort of a good sort of transfer of that into the into my finished tattoo. So being able to just kind of follow along and you know make embellishment, make changes where I want to, but have that direction, have that textural change, you know, that that was huge, you know, so I was like, okay, okay this is this is definitely pretty convenient and you know helpful in my tattooing. So I guess that was um, where I realised I was just being stubborn. There's no way I could I could stencil a you know a cathedral I have in the background of my composition by hand. We're going to crack out a ruler and and you know sit there and painstakingly like try and sort out every line and get it right, or I just bang it through, go aside, print it out, and you know it's perfect. Even being able to just drop multiple different references in quickly and crop them down. Um, you know, sharpen them up, create stencils and try them out, you know, and see which one's really going to fit best or which one's going to translate into the best tattoo for that body part. And, you know, I never would have done that before because I'm not going to sit there and make five different stencils um, in a morning, you know, that's a day's work for me. So being able to just kind of, just like as a drop of the hat, make a change and then, uh, you know, get the stencil off again, so, you know, that's epic and, you know, the, the, the app's um, reasonably simplistic to use. It's not a, it's not a, uh, every, every feature is, is useful. There's nothing there that's nonsense, you know, like just being able to print stuff out in multiple different sizes at once, um, being able to stack it, uh, split an image off into as many pages as I need to make it as big as I have to, to get, you know, just being able to do that by the push of a button rather than printing out 10 times trying to get it right, it's just, you know, it's just better, it's just easier. And you can tell that they've thought about it, you can tell that they're actively going, how can we make this better? You can see that this is created by Tattoo because it's they thinking, how can we make our day better? How can we make our tattoo better? And, it, you know, it shows through in, in the app and what you can do with it.